Hi, today I'm talking about my favorite men's fragrances. Before I jump into the video, I wanted to say that I am really new to exploring men's fragrances. And so these fragrances that I'm going to show you are probably ones you've tried before. You may already own them, um, but they're the favorites of the scents that I've tried. And I would love to keep exploring men's fragrance and find new loves. But for the time being, these are just the ones that I know I really like. The first fragrance I'm going to mention is a really great everyday scent. This is Boss the Scent from Hugo Boss. If you've ever looked into any Hugo Boss fragrances, the names are ridiculously confusing. They're all named some version of Hugo Boss bottle the scent. It's ridiculous. Um, this, however, Boss the Scent is my favorite that I've smelled so far. Um, like I said, it's a really great everyday scent. I think. Um, of all the seasons, this one's probably best in fall, but really this works in any weather. Um, and this, to me, just smells like something you would wear to the office uh, or every day. It's just clean without smelling like laundry. There's like a little bit of leather, um, a little bergamot, and I've realized in my, <laughs> in my uh, exploration of notes with these five, leather in, is really what I love. Um, I also really like woody, earthy scents. Boss the scent, it's just, it's really not anything new or extraordinary or game changing, but if you just want to smell good, this is just such an easy pick. The next fragrance that I want to talk about, I don't actually own, um, but that is Giorgio Armani's Acqua di Gio Profumo. It comes in this beautiful matte black bottle and it's very masculine. <laughs> I think actually all of the fragrances I'm going to talk about are very masculine. This one ha uh, has a kind of aquatic edge, which I typically dislike, but in Profumo, I really like it. It smells so good. There's also a little smoke, a little bergamot, some rosemary and sage, some patchouli. Um, it smells clean without smelling like detergent or shampoo or soap um, and I really think for spring and summer like warm weather that is the fragrance that I would really like to smell on my partner. It just smells very refined. Um, there, I, I kind of get like a little bit of a leathery note although I don't think there's any leather in it um, but it just has that really like cool kind of vibe to it like that leather jacket kind of vibe but summertime version. The next fragrance I have to show you is a lot less of an everyday scent and a little bit more of an occasion scent, and that is Mugler's Pure Coffee from the Amen line. I have limited experience with the flankers of Amen. Um, Pure Coffee is the first one that I had experience with, and I loved it, so I haven't really bothered trying any other flankers other than the ones that I've been sent um, decants of like Pure Havan which I really like um, and there's another one but I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was. This is patchouli and coffee for sure like that's all I get. I love coffee. I used to work at Starbucks. Coffee, the smell of coffee holds a very special place in my heart so Smelling the giant dose of black coffee that I get when you first spray this, oh, it just like hits something nostalgic in me and brings me back to like my first long term job. And I don't know, I just really like that because of this. The dry down of this is also really good. Um, it's a little sweet and earthy and a little woody. Um, I find that this does better in colder weather, it's just very heavy. And loud um, although I think that this is a very sexy scent and I think that this could work really well on a date night um, even though it projects really well it would be fine for like closer encounters the next two fragrances that I have to show you in my opinion make amazing date night fragrances this first fragrance is dark rebel rider from John Varvatos and this is the flanker of dark rebel I really like Dark Rebel. It smells really good. It's got like this leathery sort of like bourbon feel to it. Out of the two, 
they are extremely close. They smell very similar. Um, out of the two, this is my, fragr my favorite fragrance just because it's a little more dry and a little less sweet. And I'm just really not a huge, huge fan of sweet scents. I've got to be in the right mood or they have to be done the right way. Um, typically, I like dry, earthy, woody, leathery scents. Um, this smells much more like dry leather and it's a little smoky. This is very like cool black leather jacket like really cool guy and not when I think of like a cool guy I always think of like some guy in like his late teens and early 20s but this guy is like late 30s early 40s like he has got a hold on his cool <laughs> I don't know how to say it he's just very like mature he knows what he wants he just, ugh, this is to me just a very sexy scent. And like I said, Dark Rebel is very, very close to it. It's a little bit sweet. It has like more of that bourbon vibe to it where this is, to me, unadulterated leather. It's just pure leather. I prefer this one only because of the sweetness. So if you're someone who likes sweeter scents, that would be the one to go for. Either, well, either way, you can't go wrong. They both smell really great, really sexy, very confident, very, very masculine, very cool, um, and very sexy. Whenever I'm asked what my favorite men's fragrance is, I always answer this fragrance, and it is Tom Ford Oud Wood. I only have a decant because it's a little pricey, and my husband doesn't wear a ton of cologne, or he didn't used to wear a ton of fragrance. Um, and I didn't want to splurge on a full size bottle if he wasn't going to wear this, but I think when this is done, we're like a third of the way through, I will absolutely splurge on a full bottle because Oudwood is my hands down favorite men's fragrance of all time. I have never smelled anything that has come close to beating it. It is so sexy. The performance is amazing. And I don't know, I just, I like drool thinking about it. It's so good. This fragrance is Oud Wood. <laughs> um, it's so savory and a little dry, very woody. I think I can smell some of the tonka and the vanilla that's in it. I don't get any amber or if I do, it, it's like definitely mixing in with the wood and not like triggering that like, oh, there's amber in this for me. Um, it almost, it's a little deceiving. Like when I smell this, it, it out of the bottle, it smells too sweet for that I wouldn't, I would think I wouldn't enjoy it. But when I smell this on my husband, oh my God, it, it, literally drives me wild. I feel a little silly saying that, but it's true. It smells so good. Um, it is just so masculine and so sexy. It just smells very confident. I can't explain it any better than that. I, I'm like speechless. I'm rendered speechless when I smell this. You know, it doesn't smell like too juvenile and it doesn't smell too mature either. I think it really hits that like middle that really like sweet spot in the middle where it doesn't smell like my grandpa, but it doesn't smell like the teenagers that live in my neighborhood or, or acts like the teenagers of my own childhood. It just smells very sexy. Like this is the guy that I want to be next to. I want him to like hold my hand and smooch me. <laughs> Those are my favorite men's fragrances. I hope you enjoyed my choices. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on the five that I showed today. And I would love to hear what your favorite men's fragrances are. Um, I'm so interested in growing my men's collection. And if you have any recommendations for me, please, please let me know. I would really love to try them. Thanks so much for watching.